Michio Kaku and Stephen Hawking both had fascinating views on the existence of God, but they approached the question from very different angles. Michio Kaku saw hints of a divine presence in the beauty and simplicity of the universe, while Stephen Hawking relied on the principles of science to explain our reality without the need for a creator. Let's explore their unique perspectives on this age-old question. Michio Kaku, known for his work in string theory, has an interesting stance. He believes that you can't definitively prove or disprove God's existence, because science deals with what's testable and falsifiable in God. Well, that's a bit trickier. Kaku uses a clever analogy to explain this. Imagine someone claims they were Cleopatra in a past life. No matter how much historical evidence you throw at them, they could always say, well, the history books are wrong, it's impossible to disprove, but here's where it gets interesting. Kaku talks about two types of gods that Einstein believed in. One, the personal god, the one you pray to, who performs miracles. Two, the god of Spinoza, a god of beauty, harmony, and simplicity. Kaku leans towards the second idea. He's amazed by the elegance of the universe, pointing out that the laws of physics can fit on a single sheet of paper. In fact, his work in string theory aims to create an equation just one inch long that explains everything. For Kaku, this cosmic simplicity hints at something greater, even if it's not a traditional deity. Now, let's switch gears to Stephen Hawking. In his final book, Brief Answers to Big Questions, Hawking tackles the God question head on. Hawking's answer? It's all about science. He believed the universe could have created itself out of nothing, simply following the laws of physics. Hawking argued that if nature's laws are fixed, there's no need for a divine creator. He explained how the universe began with the Big Bang, starting from something smaller than an atom. To illustrate his point, Hawking compared the universe to subatomic particles. In quantum mechanics, these tiny particles seem to pop in and out of existence. Since the early universe was once that small, Hawking suggested it might have behaved similarly. So, there you have it. Two brilliant minds with different takes on the ultimate question. Kaku sees the possibility of a god in the universe's elegant design. Hawking believed science alone could explain the universe's existence. But both shared a sense of wonder at the cosmos. As Hawking once said, we have this one life to appreciate the grand design of the universe, and for that, I am extremely grateful. What do you think? Can science and the concept of God coexist? Or are they fundamentally at odds? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this cosmic journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars,